Dixon. Huh? LG, man, I talk to Doug like every two, three nights, man. He, he be trying to talk to me about my music, and he, he focused on a billion dollars right now. Man, you let them, hey, get, get them to let me out of this house. I, I hit that stage for you. How you want me to come? Every chain on or just one chain? Huh? LG, man, I talk to Doug like every two, three nights, man. He, he be trying to talk to me about my music, and he, he focused on a billion dollars right now. Man, you let them, hey, get, get them to let me out of this house. I, I hit that stage for you. How you want me to come? Every chain on or just one chain? LG, man, I talk to Doug like every two, three nights, man. He, he be trying to talk to me about my music, and he, he focused on a billion dollars right now. Man, you let them, hey, get, get them to let me out of this house. I, I hit that stage for you. How you want me to come? Every chain on or just one chain? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Maniachi TV, man. Today... We got NBA Young Boy. Now, yesterday, I believe it was yesterday. Yesterday, I listened to the Million Dollars Worth the Game episode. I listen every week. There was a question that came up, and, and, and somebody asked Gilly and Wallow if you could pick two artists to headline Gilly Fest. Who would they be? Gilly said Lil Durk and NBA Young Boy. Just to prove to people that it ain't as deep as it is. Pause. That sounds crazy. But when he said that, you know, the video started circulating everything. Everybody saying, you know, it's deeper than that. You know, people die behind this and that. You know, it's no secret. Dirk and Youngboy have been at it for a few years now. Probably longer than that. Longer than us fans probably think they've been at it. They've been at it for a while. They used to be cool. But, you know, certain things happen. Um, So, like we just saw, NBA Youngboy posted this video responding to Gilly, pretty much saying that he talks to Dirk two to three times a day, or two to three times a week, I can't remember, but he talked to Dirk, he talks to Dirk, man, so, I already know what y'all saying in the comments, Money Yachi, he trolling, he trolling, he trolling, but think about it, though, think about it, yes, he might be trolling, young boy has been on house arrest for a couple of years now, it's, it seemed like it's been forever, he's been on house arrest, he's trying to get off of house arrest, man, it's like, you know, young boy, I, I know he's been going through it mentally. I can't even imagine what he's going through because you being cooped up. At, at first, it probably was cool like the first year, but now it's starting to get to the point like, man, just let me out. Let me back on tour. Let me get back to work. So, yes, he could be trolling, but also look at it in the, in the, in the perspective of a lot of times this beef has been pushed by the blogs. It's been pushed by the blogs. Things kind of been simmered low key in recent, I say at least the last couple of months. Things kind of, I ain't saying they, they've been cool, but things kind of died down. Dirk's in his own lane. He doing his thing. YB in his own lane. He's doing his thing. So first let's, let's address if he is trolling. Why be really trying to get out the house, man? At that, it, it, he's at the point, man, where he's saying, "I ain't got beef with nobody. Just let me out the house. I just want to get back to work." And him and Dirk could probably still not rock with each other. He probably, they probably really don't rock with each other. Why be probably is just saying this, but then again, I want y'all to like just open your minds to something else. I get it, you know. We tragically lost King Von behind this beef, you know. But in reality, that had nothing to do with the events of that night had nothing to do with NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk directly. Nothing to do with that. Like, obviously, there are extensions of it just based on association. But in reality, it had nothing to do with either of them. It's the people that they around. But I want y'all to open y'all minds to this. You know, you being locked inside a house all day. We don't know as fans, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't know. Like I said, I want y'all to open your mind. I already know y'all saying Moniachi, he trolling. He ain't real. He capping. It's not real. He capping. Don't believe this. 
But I want y'all to just think about how dope this would be if this is legit. If Gillian Wallow could really set this up, because listen, you got to look at the bigger picture of things, man. We get one life. We get one life. This is divided the rap game. We get one life. All this money out here to get, man. Everybody picking sides. People don't want to collab with certain people. People don't want to show love to certain people. They scared of getting cut off, man. And you know what? I, from a fan that rock with Dirk and young boy, I would love to see if this was real. If this is real, man, I would love to see it happen. I get, you know, everybody likes to play the internet games. Everybody OTF, everybody NBA. I get it, y'all. Hey, y'all big steppers out here. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all got it. But listen, look at the bigger picture of it, man. Young boy is maturing. He's getting older. You got to realize, man, there's nothing. We can't bring Vaughn back. We can't change what happened years ago. But what we can do is move forward as a culture, as a people. I ain't saying him and Dirk got to be the best of friends. Again, open your minds. I'm not saying him and Dirk got to be the best of friends by any means. They ain't even got to do a song with each other. They ain't even got to do the tour together. But if they can just realize this man like okay i might not rock with him like that but we gonna keep it where it's at i would love to see that now if we did one day i mean think about it you never say never in this lifetime man we seen jeezy and gucci man i never i never thought i would see those two back on the same page we could see dirk and yb one day if this is real this could happen very soon you know, I trust YB's judgment. I feel like he's growing a lot. It's not just an artist, but as a man. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe this is a trail just to get off a of house arrest. Who knows? But I'm just, I want y'all to keep an open mind on how major this could be for the rap industry. You look at all these other genres, man. Everybody getting money together. We the only genre, the only people that's beefing with each other. Man, you can't even, man, you can't even leave a comment under a YouTube video without niggas threatening to kill you. It's crazy. It's crazy out here. I really want y'all to just like realize how major this would be. Regardless if you feel it's real or not, you got to acknowledge this, man. Whether you rock with YB over Dirk or Dirk over YB, you got to acknowledge that they are both incredible artists, man. I understand. I see people being biased, but you got to understand, man. Somebody, I rock with both of their music. Y'all know this. I don't, I don't pick no size on the channel. I don't pick no size on the channel. I know everybody got to pick size. I don't pick no size. I'm sorry. I rock with you. I rock with you. That's just what it is, man. But this would be major right here. This would be major right here. Now, Dirk has not yet responded to this. So... If Dirk, if hey, honestly, if Dirk came back, what if he came back and said, "Yeah, I talk with, I talk with bro all the time." What if he, what if he dropped a video of him on Facetime with bro? Then what y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do then? Like, I, I want y'all to really like realize how major this is for real, man. I ain't got no script for this video. I'm just talking. I'm just talking shit. I'm just talking shit. But this would be major though. So y'all, let me know. Comment down below. Do you think? Why be trolling to get off a of house arrest to get back on tour to show, hey, I moved on from this situation. I just want to get back to work. I ain't trying to be best friends with the nigga, but I'm trying to get back to work. Or do you think this is real? Do you feel like they actually probably squashed this beef? Let me know something. Like I said, keep your mind open, though. Never say never. Never say never. Personally, I understand how serious this beef is. I understand, you know, we lost a very talented individual throughout it and another career was heavily tarnished because of this. That being Quando Rondo. And I rock with Quando. I rock with everybody, man. I understand how deep this beef is, how deep this this disagreement is between both sides. But in reality, man, niggas got kids, niggas got responsibilities, niggas is professionals, niggas is artists, niggas trying to make money. So y'all sound off in the comment section whether y'all think this is legit or not.
Did NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk just squash their beef before we get GTA 6? That's crazy. That's crazy. Sound off in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. And until the next video, I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Maniachi TV. I'm out.